we got a lot of guys that um, can put points on the board, can create their own shots, can you know can shoot themselves. But you know, you know, guys like Najee, Jose, Trey, um, you know, anybody that's really coming off the bench is you know tucking their ego, sacrificing, sacrificing maybe their own personal good for the good of the team. And I think what are, I think we might have the second best, second best you know plus minus be, be, bench in the league, and that's that's what our job is to do. Our job is to win minutes. Yeah, I mean, how much do you, do you guys bench just pride yourselves on toughness to you, Najee, Jose, like that, that aspect? No, that's 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 uh that's what we that's what we're out there to do. You know, is is um you know protect you know really play support character. You know, obviously we've got you know B I Z C J, uh, Jonas, Trey when he's cooking. You know, we got some really good main characters, and the rest of us are there to um the rest of us are there to help you know help them create their story, and and so. Um, I think we do a really good job of, of, of protecting them defensively and and uh, you know also adding to their adding to what they do offensively. So it's a, it's a good balance. How much, I mean, you mentioned the defense. How much of that has been a factor that you guys are able to come in and just kind of shut people down and you rank near the top and I think you're number one in steals in terms of benches. For example. Yeah, I mean, look that. That's, that's who we are. That's what we do. You know, when we check in the game, it's it's uh, you know all hell all hell breaks loose. That's what we try to do, and, and just change the momentum, change the pace of the game. You know, get stops, run, throw lobs. You know, um, you know, we, we we just try to have fun, and 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 for us, <clears throat> for us, that's being scrappy, being gritty, and and basically just outworking the other team. As far as Cleveland goes, knowing that they're going to be down several players, how do you guys not overlook that? Look, there's no easy wins in the NBA. I don't care who you're playing against. Um, you know, and obviously this Cleveland team is third in the East for a reason. You know, they're no joke, and and um, you know, but they're they're no joke. So I, I I don't think we're not we're not a team to take people te take teams for granted or take you know really fall asleep at the wheel like that. Now, you know, can they beat us? Absolutely. And you know, they we've shown we've shown that we can be beaten on nights like this. But at the same time, you know, I think we got a good level of focus. Guys were really locked in today to shoot around and. And um, you know this is this is this is less about this is less about Pell's calves and more about Nance versus Nance. You know, really, uh, that's all I that's all I'm worried about. Did your brother crash at the team hotel? Did you give him a spare bedroom last night? Nah, nah, no. Nah. He came over for dinner and then I, I let him uh, kicked him out. Kicked him out. You know, he's already staying at one of my houses, so I didn't want to. You know, I didn't want to have him stay at this one too. It's good. You have a little advantage that you're, I'm sure you're way more familiar with Cleveland than than most players are across the NBA because of how close. You, you them. Yeah, for sure. You know, that's um, yeah. I, I always say I want them to go eight. I want them to go eighty and two. You know, I want them to win every single game except when they play us. So, um, yeah, I got a lot of friends over there on the coaching staff, players, training staff, and all that good stuff. And you know, um, it is a little bit of an advantage. I know they're, you know, I know what their play calls are and stuff like that. So, um, it, it, it'll be fun on the night, and I'm just really looking forward to uh, competing against a lot of my friends. Yeah, I mean, just big picture with the Cavs as a franchise. What's it been like, just like? LeBron is no longer there. It's it's really hard when you lose a player like like them finding success again, kind of post LeBron these past couple of years. No, it's been it's been so much fun to watch and, and something that I'm rooting for. Um, obviously, you know it's uh you know the guys again a lot of the guys that are star in starring roles now I, I was with as rookies. You know Isaac Okoro, he, um, you know was with him when he started. Darius Garland was there when he started. Jared Allen was there when he got traded. Um, I was on the team when Ev Mobley got drafted. So. All these guys I know and, and have gotten to see them grow, and it's just been really, really fun to see their development um, you know, on and off the court. So I, I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm a fan of that team as long as they're not playing us. You mentioned back in like media day training camp that with, with your brother that you, would, you were going to try to do everything that you could to see him play a game like in person, even though it's tough with the schedule. Yeah. What would it be like to see like the first time in person that he plays in the NBA playing against you? Um, yeah, I, I hadn't even dreamt that one up, honestly. Um, you know the fact that the fact that he's even here right now. I'm just you know so proud of him. I mean, obviously it's it's so hard to make the NBA, and it's one in however many get to make it. So, um, you know, but it, if for whatever reason he gets to play tonight, and and, and you know he checks in, and I, I I'll I'll put myself back in the game. And I'm going full court ISO. You know the Kobe clip where he's breaking the triangle. I'm you know clear out. I'm going to work.